as we wrap up here that I was thinking that we did not cover is how many of you on this stage have gotten a lot more no's than yeses? Raise your hand. How many of you have a lot of people that you've signed up as free customer accounts that have not ordered yet? Raise your hand. Right? So the, the, the lesson as we, as we uh, leave here, business, any business is a numbers game. And you just got to have fun with this until you go, I'm going to have fun tomorrow in my life. And I'm going to know when I'm talking to somebody that I know this is going to be a positive experience for them, but I'm going to be patient with them because if they say to me, you know what, I, I tried it, but my first day, I just don't know. Sometimes you don't know their situation with the spouse, with their home, with their finances. Don't, don't pry into that stuff. Be patient, be a friend. Because the fact is, when you all leave this room, look at the size of this now compared to six months ago. The one thing that we can safely say when we leave this room is going to continue to spread. We were talking about this on the way out here today. A company in the United States, uh, many companies that are just United States companies only, 900 and something million dollars a year in sales. And I'm sitting here going, we're U.S., Canada, and Australian. Our goal is to be a billion dollar a year company in 30 years. Okay, we're not in Australia. I'm sorry. I didn't, did I say Australia? No, 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 no. Uh, Or did I? No, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna let, I, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Japan. Okay, so I know y'all already heard from me, but one thing that you said when you said when I signed up and that somebody else that signed up at the same time, that empty chair, it is about sacrifice. It is about not making an excuse and making something happen. Excuses do not make the house payment. Excuses do not set your goals. So don't make excuses, make goals. Set them up and make them happen. If you don't make your goal, get with your upline and say, hey, what can I do different and let's reevaluate next month. Um, because that's, it, it is huge. Something Paul said to me um, when we were going to Tulsa and it just sat with me was, you know, your future and where you wanna be, becoming that is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done. But the sacrifices later, and the sacrifices now and the vision and where you're at later and the freedom you're gonna have is gonna be all worth it. Being in this room, guys, you have to plug in. Um, I mean, I'm standing up here and I'm looking out across the room, and, and I have some leaders in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that honestly my stomach and my heart is kind of racing because I don't see them in this room. And honestly, I'm going, what in the world are they doing? What in the world are they doing? We have the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, the reason that I wake up and do what I do every single day is because I know what we have here. And I think that that is the biggest challenge as a leader is going, why in the world can't, and I know I can't, I know I can't, but death damn it, I'm gonna try my hardest um, to make people see. Here's the deal, guys. If I'm not here, my team isn't here. When you don't show up, your team is not going to show up. Quit expecting your team to work harder than you work. Stop it. Run with this. Stay committed. I promise you, I'm on fire. I'm looking out. I'm looking out. I'm like, that person's not here. That person's not here. That person's not here. They, they're in, in for it. You let them know. If they're on your team, you better, you better let them know. I don't understand. I cannot comprehend that. You deserve this. It takes a few hours out of your day to be a part of this. It takes 30 minutes to get on a Lavelle Live. It takes 15 seconds to send a text message and invite someone to something. It's, it's awesome to come to an event with a carload, is it not? You have to be committed. Do not be frustrated at where you are if you're not willing to put in the time. Because just like Lori said, she did not become a registered nurse by going to school for a year and saying, I quit. Do not be one of those people that thinks that you can just sit back and do nothing and let, I am working my tail off because I'm not gonna miss out on this. And here's the honest to goodness truth. I know if I let my foot on, <laughs> off the gas, you guys are gonna do the same thing. And you better believe I'm absolutely committed to keep rocking and rolling with this thing and building this thing big.
So, there you go.